chins up, they uh, said, yeah. ready to go on. Hold hey, yeah. hi. How's everybody doing? Just Good. nod your head, because we can't hear you. Yeah. Here we can see street. you, but we, we can't can, hear yeah, you. Yeah, we can't hear you. But if we could, it would be in stereo. Right. <laughs> I can assure you. We're available. Uh, yes. But not in closed captions. No, that, absolutely. Yeah. That's but correct. we're working on it. Now, I have a funny story to tell you about that, too, tonight, <laughs> but I can't tell you on the air. That's real funny. But anyway, uh, welcome to Cook and Cheap. We're going to be doing some Mexican dishes today, or at least I am. I'm oh, going to be yeah. doing a fine taco salad. And I got a real nippy burger steak to go with it. Nippy burger steak. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> And I got a letter from Beverly Hills, California, home of the rich and famous. Mm. It's a postcard, right here it is. It says, Dear boys, I just wanted y'all to send y'all a note to let you know how much I enjoy your show. It comes on here at 12 a.m. on Thursday, so it's hell getting up for work on Friday. I told my family to watch your show, but they haven't located you on their Florida station. Best wishes for you and your staff. Yours, Bill Turner. Well, thanks, Bill, for your fine little note there. This one says, excuse me, I'm, I'm eating, which is what we do on this show. <laughs> I thought Especially the, when we are I obviously the, starved homeless children. <laughs> I thought the letter Ethiopia. was a little bit longer than that or I wouldn't be eating. It says, one of these men was making walnut brittle. This man had much to say about the cracking, etc., of black walnuts. I can give him a way to solve the problem. Take a pint of pecan halves. Put in a pint jar, add two tablespoons of black walnut extract, put lid on, and put in ice box. Next day you can use them, and they will taste like black walnuts. You mean it's a trans nut? <laughs> <laughs> One of those strange ones. I'm sending self-addressed, blah, 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 blah. They used and to do that. Uh, Send them over to Sweden and do it. But <laughs> that's from Nan Irvin of Nashville, Arkansas. Uh-huh. Nashville, Arkansas. Hmm. Right. And, no, well, such, uh, a, such a place, I didn't know. This uh, gentleman uh, writes in, and I, I think it's a gentleman, I can't read his name very well. Looks like, well, I anyway. just got salsa all over this letter, or whatever that is. Uh, they said they want the recipe for that walnut brittle. Mm -hmm. It looked real good. Yeah. And he said, why didn't you throw me over a bit of it? And it says, I'm 83 years old, but I love to cook, and I make a lot of nice candy for my friends. Hmm. Would love to hear from you. You did a real good job on the TV. Nice uh, sign-off. Hoping uh, to have the name and address right. Your friend from Arkansas, Bruce Girard. Cook and cheap. Glad you have new knives. However, if you want your knives to remain sharp and don't ruin them, also find them easier to handle, when you cut vegetables, chop or dice, please buy a wooden chopping block or a board wooden block. You're going to have, uh, says something about don't use new knives on plastic besides the danger of them slipping on plastic. 47 years married and using the same knives we bought 44 years ago. I wonder what they did the first three years. I don't know. Still <laughs> didn't need knives. Still <laughs> sharp. Still all in one piece. Also have you heard of food choppers or blenders made by Hamilton Beach? Save you hours. Keep up the humor. A fan, Marie Lovanovich of Eureka Springs, Arkansas. Hmm. Well, here's one from KC Freeland, or well, it's Chris Freeland of Torrance, California, and she sent us a Halloween monster card. Ooh, Thanks, Chris. that's scary. And uh, said that she just still can't get over this whole show. She said, hard to believe still that you guys are for real. And she wants to know the wine that we were drinking on show number six. <laughs> <laughs> Same <laughs> ones we were drinking good. on the first eight seasons, uh, cheap and uh, in a big bottle. From the gallows of Ernest and Julia. We were just <laughs> hanging around one day. Uh, ah. Yeah, it's true. Oh. Here's one from R R Juanita Hanby, I believe it is, from California, from Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. No, it isn't. From Long Beach, California. And she just was finally catching our show out there and uh, wanted to send some recipes and says, also, why Roanoke, Virginia? I thought all this time I was watching two good old Texas boys. <laughs> <laughs> well, and we're not. Here's a letter with some recipes in from my old pal Edna Strickland that I know from years back when she used to write in when I was working with Miss Polly oh. Ayers, some of you. In Who? this area, Miss Polly. Never the, heard of oh, her. Oh, yeah, fine lady. Really? Anyway, Edna, thanks for writing in. She missed me to talk to you at the 
at the birthday party for this uh, Blue Ridge uh, mm -hmm. uh, network. Yeah. And Edna, I'm sorry, but you just come on over sometime and we'll be glad to receive you over here during Whatever the show. Whatever happened Sweet to, uh, well, ne never well, mind. <laughs> no. Oh, by the way, by the way, you know, we, I know we're spending a lot of time over here, but I got oh, another sorry. gift. This is a Dorothy gift. Miss Dorothy, I know, is watching. My cats went crazy. They think this is the neatest gift of all the Dorothy gifts I've ever received. I didn't even tell them I was good dude. This is the best one of them all. <laughs> <laughs> I just drove my cats nuts with that thing. <laughs> it's hysterical. And so do I. Oh. Later on, Johnson, I'll put this around your arm and pump you up a little all bit right. and get your uh, blood, pressure. My blood pressure. Mm -hmm. But anyway. I'm uh, cooking some some hamburger in here. And I'm going to put together, uh, let me just start this and then I'll turn it over to you because I have a little. I'm going to drain this there. while you're starting that. Okay. Right. I'm making a cup or half a cup of soft bread crumbs just by grinding up some um, considerably old bread that hasn't gone over yet into a little measuring cup here. Okay. And I'm going to add it to a pound of ground hamburger along with some salt and pepper. And I'm going to make some hamburgers and cook them. And then the trick comes later on. So uh, who? All right. I'm trying to drain some hamburger. <laughs> well, are you having any love? No, it's all the hamburgers going out and all the grease is staying behind. I don't care. I'm not hey. going to do anything with it. I'm tired of it. Maybe if I got, I'll be back. Entertain them. Amuse Your them. friend Tom is going to love that. Y'all know Tom. Tom cl cleans up around here some days. He's supposed to clean up every day. But Never mind. <clears throat> okay. I have taken a pound of hamburger. I'm going to make a fine taco salad. salad. I've taken a pound of hamburger and a I A fine have one. It, it's so fine. Who was, somebody sent it in. It's from uh, Trudy, Trudy Bakerman. Doesn't say where Trudy's from. Trudy, oh. wherever you're from, thank you very much. This is a taco salad. Take a pound of hamburger and fry it, just like that. And after you fried it, add some taco seasoning. Just one of those package job. One package of taco seasoning mix. And we're going to add that to the mess and stir it around and gonna let that simmer for about 10 minutes. After you get all the juice, all the grease and everything off of it. I got most of it. There's not a lot of it. Just a oh, couple of pounds worth. <laughs> one pound of hamburger, two pounds of grease. No, I got pretty lean hamburger, so even though I couldn't do much of well, the Lord, this just keeps Excuse on me. coming out. I'm going to sneeze. No, I'm not. Uh. Well, I don't believe there's any end to this. I believe this is a trick package of some kind. Well, that's the darnest thing I've ever seen. Well, it's still coming out. I believe it's coming out my sleeve. No, that's it. No, it's not. Well, I've never seen anybody just open up one corner of the <laughs> well, package. Well, that is right, silly. Let me just. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's usually traditional. No wonder it took up so an long. To open up the entire top. <laughs> Let's hear it for him, boys. I swear. No wonder it took so long. Now, simmer that a little bit. I'll turn that back up. I'm going to simmer that for 10 minutes. And in the meantime, we're going to start chopping onions. I got one of those, a small onion. Just chop it up a little bit. Here I have my fine plastic chopper. <laughs> And you I got know that, that letter. My fine plastic cutting board has been broken. Yours? Yes. Did you have to bring one? Some from miscreant. Home? No, oh. this is an old one. Oh, your old one. Well, that's a shame, Levin. I, well, I know. We're also going to take some tomatoes. They this probably broke it at the company party around here. Three medium weeks, you know. tomatoes. We're going to chop those all up. I would suggest you de-seed them first, and you do that simply by. Is it this way or this way? <laughs> that way. This way. Uh huh. Yeah. Take that and just squish them somewhere. I'm going to squish. I'm going to squish them here. Anyway, you just squish them like that, and all that inside, all those seeds come out. Isn't that nice? And it's real appetizing. And then <laughs> after you've done that, you just chop them all up. I'm going to do three medium ones. So that's all I'm going to do for right now. It gets real exciting though after a while, so don't go too far away. All right, Laban. All right. Well, now I'm making my little patties and. This I'm going to make out of this pound of hamburger. I'm going to do four quarter pound patties, all beef, and uh, they just go into a hot skillet that is hot because we turned it on an hour and a half ago. That's they, how you can tell. Yeah, they don't always pay the electric bill real good around here, and 
Some days they paid enough of it so that we're entitled to some electricity, but not enough to do everything we need to, so they just kind of cut it down there a little bit. We just have a brown out every once in a while. You know what I have for lunch today? What did you have? Taco salad. Did you? I forgot I was fixing it today. Had it for lunch. Where did you have it? Little Chef down on oh, the really? Williamson Road. That's where I had it, I can't help. Oh, we believe you. It was real good, too, I might, I might add. It was good. Oh, it, still, it lives on in your memory. Right? Uh-huh. Going to live on until maybe 7.30 or 8 tonight. All right. I'm just chopping these three uh, low-down tomatoes, and believe me, they are low-down. Do you know somebody gave me last week three or four tomatoes that they had had shipped up here from Florida mm -hmm. and they had ripened down there on the vine and I want to tell you it was just enough to make you cry they were so good. Oh really? Oh fabulous. Well these are n uh, none of the above. These are just plain old tomatoes that you find in stores in the middle of the winter which is when this show is being taped for those of you that are watching it during the summer of 1990. <laughs> this was done during the winter of 1989, 88. We've changed years, I can't remember. But anyway, and they're real bad. See how mm -hmm. they haven't got any color to them. They're real pale. I they're real it, pale. I read in the New York Times last week that they're beginning to, to work on uh, gene splicing in tomatoes to put all the goodness back into them again. I should and certainly I hope, hope so. Because I tell you, someone should get the Pulitzer Prize for coming up with something this wimpy. This is pretty bad. This doesn't even resemble the tomatoes I used to have at home on the farm. Uh huh. Whoops! Don't back fall on that on your way back, of years Johnson. Ago. <laughs> Would be right funny though, wouldn't it? Be what? careful! I dropped oh. a tomato on the floor. Well, here, just put it. No, 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 no. Well, why don't you just run it through the grater? Have you ever thought and wondered what that would be like if you tried to slice no, it? No, Laban, I really haven't. And you know, it's just real funny. It just never entered my mind. And even after I think about it, I don't believe it even interests me a little bit. Oh, Larry. Where's my sense of adventure? I know it. Where is it? So anyway, Woo! now we're still doing this stuff. Doesn't look like much, but we're doing it. I'm getting this hamburger real done, doing it very slowly, I don't want to do it too fast. Smelling good though, isn't it? Of course, with all that goodness in there, it'd have to be real good. In a couple and of minutes, we're going to do some stuff with that. My burgers are just cooking away over here in the... I think the hamburger should be fairly well done for a salad, don't you? Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. think it ought to be half done and raw and all that stuff. Now, well, you know, you and I are right. Right, what? Picky about Dumb? That. No. Oh, picky. Oh, yeah. yeah. We yeah. don't. We are. We don't hold with half-cooked meat. Now, I've got some Wisconsin sharp cheddar cheese, and it was on sale. Look at that. 40 cents off per pound. Oh. I was out shopping yesterday. People were going crazy. Everyone thought it was going to snow, and people here in Roanoke, Virginia, go crazy when they think it's going to snow. Uh huh. They people have approximately, I've decided, a half a day's worth of provisions on hand. So they get real nervous every time they call for snow. Everybody, let's all go to the store. Yeah. Everybody. And millions of people go to the store. Everybody was there yesterday. I didn't see you. No, I didn't go. Oh. Being no dummy, I have been to the rodeo before, in the words of Miss Crawford. <coughs> well, I've been to the radio myself a couple of times. Oh, the rodeo. Oh. Okay, now what do we do? Stir yeah. in taco seasoning, December 10 minutes. I've done Somebody that said they had you'd been rode hard and put away wet last week. All right, now we got to take a fine head of lettuce. Lettuce head. Torn to pieces. This just tears me to pieces. I think this is too much, so I'm not going to put it all in there. And this is something else that was right low down yesterday, too, I might add. This lettuce. Didn't look very good, Johnson. It looked like it had been rode hard and literally put to bed wet. Look at it. Got places all the way down under there. there. Places everywhere. There's everywhere. Now this is a matter of your own personal personal tearing up here. What you help get that out of there. How fine you'd like to have your lettuce leaves? I think they ought to be torn small enough that you can handle them. 
Because there's nothing worse than getting a great big old leaf like that in your mouth and trying to have a conversation you can't do anything mm -hmm. with it. So what you do is just tear it up. And do not chop it with a knife. That's the worst thing you can do to lettuce. Because it gets deeply offended. It really does. Humiliated. It's just no good at all. This is just ordinary old, what is this? Is this iceberg bib what? What is this? That's, that's uh, iceberg. I know. I thought it was bib lettuce because he was, Johnson was wearing it when I came. Oh, uh, <laughs> no. give me a break. But anyway. Well, while you're tearing up the lettuce, I'm going to make a little sauce now. Uh, a saucy sauce for this saucy hamburger. This is an eight ounce can of tomato sauce. Sauce. And... To that, I'm going to add a tablespoon of chopped green onion. That's about one green onion chopped up. Did you ever notice they put the tomato sauce on the other side of the store from the tomato? Uh-huh. Canned tomato. And then to it, I'm also going to add a tablespoon of brown sugar. Which... Oh, how humiliating. He's dropped something on the floor. Well, it was just a spatula. You have to excuse It'll me, be but I don't like these corn chips. No, I have to take these corn chips and smush them up. That's what it says. It says two cups of crushed corn chips. So I'm just going to do it in a bag, save myself a lot of wear and tear. Now, into my bowl, I have put a tablespoon of uh, brown sugar, and now here is a a good tablespoon full, or teaspoonful rather, of Worcestershire sauce, and this is a kind that has got a hickory smoke flavor to it, which is sort of heretical, I think, but somebody gave it to me. And um, a teaspoon of mustard. Oh, no! Lord, they've even gone to the protection device on the, the mustard thing. I well, swear. yeah, you know that family that... Uh... <laughs> Died of, <laughs> that died of mustard poisoning. It was just real bad. It was awful. Didn't you read about it? Yes, I did. It was I just did. terrible. <laughs> you do have to protect people from themselves. You uh -huh. never know when someone's going to ingest 20 pounds of mustard and kill themselves. Right. Accidentally. I'm yeah. going to take this hamburger and I'm going to dump it in here in this big bowl with this, with this lettuce and I'm going to start adding other things to it. For instance, I'm going to add those Woo! three chopped tomatoes, that chopped onion, all that's going to go in there. We're going to toss all this stuff here in a couple of minutes. Where are you going to toss it? I'm going to toss it out the door if it don't look any better well, it does now. No, it's right pretty. I've got to do it too. Add crushed chips and toss. All right. Now we're going to toss all that stuff. What did I do? I forgot the cheese. Eight ounces of shredded cheese. Excuse me, folks. I'll be back in a minute. Laban? Well, now my burgers have been drained. Most important thing of all. And I'm now going to pour this sauce over it that I've mixed up. So you mixed up. Well, I noticed he was a little confused when I came in. Well, that's real pretty. You know what that Ooh. reminds me of? What? Well, no, I can't get into this. Why in the world am I mentioning this? Never mind. There's uh -huh. something they used to serve at school with uh, rice uh, uh. in the... In the Hamburgers, and you put a sauce like that in. What'd they call that stuff, Laban? I can't remember what it was. I don't know. Yeah. We never had anything like We always had real good food. Called school. them porcupine something. I can't remember. But anyway, porcupine. Yeah. yeah, porcupines. Remember those? Didn't you ever have those in yeah, school? Yeah. Our school system used to have them all the time. Porcupines. I liked them. And you put them in a sauce. Oh, they're wonderful, and, that, and all that rice would stick out. Now, I'm doing some cheddar cheese, by the way, in case everybody's worried about it, real nervous about it. I'm not doing much of a good job of it either. It's just kind of crumbling, which means it's pretty good cheese. Oh, there's a piece that's got my name on it. Well, it did, yeah. Mm -mm. Real I'm going to take that and put that in there, too. Now I'm going to toss it all. I have two fine sticks for doing just such a thing. Yeah, there you have a startling overhead shot of the toss. Whoops. And a big ball of cheese that didn't go anywhere. Oh, doesn't that look good? Yeah. Mm, oh, it looks mm, gorgeous. Mm, 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 si, mm. si, senor. Look well, maybe uh, we ought to go pretty. through the recipes. Let's do it. It's real point. colorful on television if your TV is adjusted properly. Mm. I have some, uh, also some fresh spring onions. And I'm going to just take those and chop them a little bit to put them on the dollop of sour cream, which I'm also going to put on the table with this. When we eat this, we can put the dollop of sour cream. 
on top of it if you want to. Okay, what are we going to do now? We're going to go with the recipe. The Trudy's Taco Salad. Miss, Miss Trudy Taco sent this in. Oh, Trudy Bakerman. One pound of ground beef, package of taco seasoning mix, one small onion chopped, a head of lettuce. This is a large head of lettuce. Eight ounces of shredded cheese, Monterey Jack or cheddar. I use cheddar today. Two cups of crushed corn chips. Just crush them right where they're at. Kill them before you get them out of the bag. Sour cream, taco sauce, or salsa, green onions. That's it. Just pulse well, it all that's together. Certainly easy enough. For the saucy hamburger steak, you need a pound of ground beef, a half a cup of soft bread crumbs. Don't use those toasted ones you got in a can. You just break up some bread. Okay. Half a teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of pepper, an eight ounce can of tomato sauce, a tablespoon of chopped green onion, a tablespoon of brown sugar, and a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, and a teaspoon of mustard, prepared mustard I use. And you mix all that together and you pour it over your burgers and let them simmer for a few minutes. And uh, I'll have to say, Larry, that these things look real tasty. I can tell already. Why do you have to say that? Oh, I just oh, think oh, they okay. just look fabulous. Listen, I have taken some, uh, a little dollop of just ordinary sour cream. You take your uh, uh, spring onions and chop them and put them on top of that. We figured out that's what you're supposed to do with this. Is that what we figured out, uh -huh. Dolores, uh, Doris, Dolores? Now, Doris. You Doris know, has nothing to do with this program today whatsoever. <laughs> She's not taking any credit at all. Our, our own Miss Witch is said she was going to try to get in today because, you know, she's having a hard time now that she's in the, the final trimester of her... The what? The final trimester of her Ooh, pregnancy. Yes, okay. And uh, she is uh, expecting to deliver... Oops, and there she is right a there. A direct... A direct... Read Ascendance. Us, Larry. Well, I'll try. How much time we got? A lot? Dear boys, do you have any recipes for some real down-home soul food? I was brought up with cunt in the country, and since I left, nobody can get down at my house and cook like they did back then. Take me back, boys. Well, who is that? I can't read a that. Passionata kiss it. <laughs> well, a passionata, thank you. And we'll <laughs> we'll uh, do our best no, next already. week to take you back to your your days in the country. All right. Well, the bowl's so big, it's bigger than the table is. Let me get some junk out of here. <laughs> that just kills oh. me, that thing. Well, here, Laban, let me serve you some fine. Oh, you're not going to drink that, are well, you? Well, of course. I think it's uh, appropriate. Let me give you some of this fine uh, oh, thank salad. You. you know, Doris made some guacamole. Oh, she did. It's beautiful. Salsa. And we were just chomping down on that before we got on the air, and it was real good. This is just lovely. Here, would you like a dollop of this fine homemade... Yes, I uh, would. Sour cream. Homemade sour cream that I ran up just before we got on the air. Oh. Well, I'm ready to dig in. Oh. And they're signifying to us that we'd better do it in a hurry. Oh, me. Well, Trudy's taco salad looks fabulous. It does, doesn't it? And I'm going to try this burger because it just is just. Mm -mm. Excellent. That is good. That is really good. What do you think of that? Oh, the salad is wonderful, too. We got it. Mm. It's terrific. Thank you. And we got our Mexican beer. We'll see you next week.